Hey there, guys, and thank you for coming back to my review channel for today's review. We got the Dragon Ball Z Flying Nimbus Energy Drink. Picked this up at FYE, paid uh, FYE. Picked this up at five below. Normally, this is sold in FYE, but I guess it didn't sell that well, which is why it ended up in five below. Normally, four dollars. Picked this guy up for two fifty. Now, I am not going to lie to you. I do hope that the Flying Nimbus Energy Drink. I'm hoping because it has the orange ring on top. I'm hoping that this tastes like oranges or citrus, even 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 cream sickle. I would be happy with. I would be letting you guys know 100% off the top. I will be 100% disappointed if this is a blue raspberry energy drink. Just saying, because blue raspberry seems to be the common denominator in these beverages like this. And uh, if that is the case, then I'm just going to be full of disappointment as we continue with some of these uh, energy drinks that look like this, resemble this. So let's look at the nutrition facts in this guy and get right into it. Serving size is 12 fluid ounces, which is 355 mil. Calories is 160. Total fat is zero. Sat fat is zero. Trans fat is zero. Cholesterol is zero. Sodium is 160 milligrams, which is 7%. Total carbohydrates is 42 grams, which is 15%. Dietary fiber is zero. Total sugars is 39 grams. Includes 39 grams of added sugars for 78%. Protein is zero. Vitamin D, zero. Calcium, one milligram, still zero percent. Iron is zero. Potassium, 67 milligrams, two percent. Niacin, 13 milligrams, 80 percent. Vitamin B6, 1.4 milligrams, 80 percent. Vitamin B12, 3.6 micrograms, 150 percent. Pantoic acid, four milligrams, 80 percent. Contains 100 milligrams of caffeine. Not recommended for children, people sensitive to caffeine, pregnant women, or women who are nursing. Bird Studio Shuijia Toei Animation, distributed by Boston America Corp. And uh, I like that it's uh, Toei Animation licensed, so it's legit, guys. It's legit. It says so on the can. It says so on the can. So let's get right into this. I'm hoping orange creamsicle. Please don't be blue res. And what do you know? You have another... Blue liquid. I don't know if you guys can see that there. The blue in the uh, juice. Oh, man. I'm just... Wow. Definitely a blue raspberry. A blue raspberry. Like, I feel like they did a great job making... The cans, really cool. They got a cool picture of uh, Goku on there, or Goten. I can't really... I don't think that's Goku. No, it might be. It might be a younger Goku. Like I said, Goten. Uh, but what I don't like about it is that it's blue raspberry. And this being like the fourth energy drink that I've tried. That it's got the Dragon Ball Z logo on it. I was expecting something different and something invigorating. I mean, the caffeine is there. It tastes good. It's a blue raspberry caffeine uh, energy drink. Hits the same as about a Red Bull, so there's no disappointment there. But two fifty for this, so you could have two fifty for a Red Bull. I personally, at this point, I would rather just go out and buy the Red Bull because you know what you're getting with Red Bull. Whereas with this particular product, it's advertised as the Flying Nimbus energy drink, but it tastes the same as a Power Boost, and it tastes the same as a Warrior Boost, and it tastes the same. As uh, we a warrior boost, power boost, uh, and I believe there's another one that's the the spirit bomb as well was an energy drink with the Dragon Ball Z insignia on it, and uh, I just feel like I feel like they're just hoping that all the Dragon Ball Z people will go out and buy their products, and they'll just be like, yeah, man, we got over on these guys. It's the same blue raspberry energy drink in all of them. Yeah, it's the same. Blue raspberry energy drink in all of them. You get the spirit bomb, it's blue raspberry. You get the war power, it's blue raspberry. You get the flying nimbus, it's blue raspberry. You get the power boost, it's blue raspberry. I'm just saying, it would be nice if they could produce a different flavor other than blue raspberry. I like the can. I don't save these. I just throw them away. Um, but if you are a collector of it, then that might be something that might appeal to you. Don't open it. Keep it sealed up. That way it retains its value, retains the, the product inside of it. 
and it might be worth something. But for myself personally, I want to know what it tastes like, so that's why I'm trying them. Um, blue raspberry energy drink. Nothing too spectacular there. You had one, you've had them all. Okay, so think about that uh, when you do purchase this product. As always, guys, my name is Johnny5. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, you thought it was helpful and informative. And if you did, you give me a thumbs up. You show me some in the comment box down below. If you're new to this channel, I would highly recommend if you subscribe to the corners and ring that bell. Daily uploads here, which means Monday through Friday. You get a food or drink review just like this one. Saturday or Sunday, vape reviews, Stella Shorts, Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m., 10 p.m., and Sunday, 10 a.m. and 8 p.m. I go to bed early, so I give you guys that video a little earlier. Also, if you enjoy my content, you very well could enjoy Jay Glees' content. Keep it easy. Check out some Jay Glees. He'll be down in the description box down below. And you guys, be good. Be safe. Hopefully, you guys are flying on your own Nimbus. Maybe it tastes like blue raspberry. Maybe it tastes like creamsicle. But for this one, it tastes like blue raspberry. What can you do? 250 at 5 below in Bayshore. Be good. Be safe, guys. And I'll catch up with you guys on the next one. Later, taters.